Uh, morning folks. It's another great hair day here. <laughs> as I as I kneel before you, uh, let's just get on with the date stamp. Just ignore. I just have to look through what's going on um, in the hair department most days. Uh, if, if I look too hard, I, I wouldn't show my face. <laughs> Anyway, Thursday, 21st, I think it is, th uh, tw 21th, 21th of April, which means, I think, I guess, next week, we're into May, we're into May, oh, and May the 4th, uh, May the 4th, May the 4th uh, celebrations, I'll have to give that some thought, actually, I remember the first the first May the 4th of May Movement Your Mission was very funny. We'd only been going a couple of months and uh, I, th I think that was the day that uh, we, we, we kind of did some extra bonding with some laughs around May the 4th. Anyway, uh, my brain has digressed already. Uh, a very dull start to the preamble here, folks. Apologies for that. You just got a bit of contents of me yet. Um, let's see who's arriving. Five minutes to go. Um, there's, there's been something new happen on um, on movement snacking today and it, it's Miss Perry so she's she's gone off shopping this morning I've just said she's just sent a posted a message to the group <clears throat> and she um I don't think technically she was catching up because she'd already called up because I saw her messages of yesterday saying she caught up what she'd actually done she'd done a she'd done a pre-snack um so I don't know if that means that she did it on her own without a video which is just oh my goodness super so it's kind of a prequel it's the opposite to catching up she's done it before me she's done it before us she's she won't be here because she's gone shopping so that that's why she did it first I, I, i'll need to get more details back to you even snack mates so that we really understand today's revelation something new has happened i make you in your mission uh miss perry chris has uh, has pre-snacked ahead of all of us which i think is um yeah it, it is a headline i don't know what she's called that that's, that doesn't make her a catch up because she's always she's all already caught up she's a something else -er. she's a she's a what's the word she's advanced party advanced party snack mate she's done snack ahead of the snack movement snack of course just to be clear but let, let's for clarity this is a movement snack not an edible snack <coughs> Sue, what, what are you doing up early? Shouldn't you be having a lay-in on your second day of retirement? Is it gonna, is it, are you having a Chicago moment? Hard habit to break. See what I did there. Um, uh, I'm quite, quite intrigued and excited to, to follow your newly retired lifestyle, Sue. So I think we need a, a, a retirement headline for me every day. Now you haven't got anything to do and you're not changing that laptop, I think I'm gonna make you, <laughs> I think I'm going to make you our chief headliner, please, please. Uh, so give, give us a retirement headline, if you could, today. How, how are you feeling, Sue? Uh, Sue, Sue Tilly, I'm Dartmoor, how, how are you feeling on your second day of retirement? Is the sound gone on Sue Tilly? And all those silly things. <coughs> Bolt teams in, all right, Vivian. Uh, you had a, a long day of driving, I think you had yesterday. So thank you for your messages on all the catch-ups. Three catch-ups from Bolton team, tick, 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 allocated this morning. Uh, morning, Penzance. Um, is uh, tennis fever, tennis season brewing with excitement down there, Christine? I, I, this, I, I, as soon as I said that, Francis, I knew, I knew, I thought, oh my goodness, of course, I, I hear all the time that uh, once you retire, you, you wonder how you had the time to work. Morning, Maya, good to see you. <laughs> You're allowed to laugh now, Sue, you've retired. We have a, a headline uh, down in Dartmoor, Sue Tilly is laughing on her second day of retirement. How do you feel about that, Sue? I'm the intrepid non-reporter on the, on your retirement case. Uh, what's going on, Sandra? I've come in late to understand what you were talking about. Rewind. Oh, okay. The rewind, Sandra, is uh, Sue Tilly retired yesterday. Um, 
Oh, this is new. Oh, the other, oh, the new new thing is that Miss Perry is is, um, is broke new ground on Move, Make Movement Your Mission today, Sandra, and she's done a she's done a pre snack. She's done an advanced party movement snack before the live, so it's the opposite to a catch up because she's going shopping. And Sue Tilly has retired yesterday, so I've uh, asked if she could provide us with the retirement headlines uh, forthwith. See the memo, Sue Tilly. Day two is pretty good so far. Okay, headline is, folks, the retirement headline today is, day two is pretty good so far. <laughs> Morning, Jane. Uh, wave to your, <clears throat> oh, Sandra, you put me on the spot there. I quite like that, that we might need a review of the preamble at the end of it. Mm. Okay, anyway, all of that said, morning, Margaret. It's a five, six, seven, eight. X town related live training, 8 a.m. movement. I'm on a triple townly today. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got my morning frog fruit, frog fruit. Triple townly from me today. Uh, let's get going on this first one. Let's get the first one in the bag. Cert boots, cert boosts to go. Uh, we generally wear socks for the morning movement snack, but as you can see, uh, I've got tiled floor. So mm, because of slippage, I've got some soft shoes on so we can get extra ankle, feet and toes. Here's your standing cert boost prompts. Uh, check your ways even across both feet, not too wide, not too narrow, extra uplift. Decide if you want a fingertip touch with some external support, or decide if you want to take the cert boost in sits. I'll do the prompts for those in a minute. And, and, and just get going, innit? It's the, it's the morning get-go. <clears throat> it's been the same every morning for over two years. That's it, we just, we just take the time, invest some time in your moving parts and supporting parts to keep moving well, gotta keep moving more frequently. There you go, there's, there's the strap line. Extra ankles, feet and toes. If you feel a bit stompy and start, if you can hear your cert boost, it might be an indicator that you haven't quite found your feet. So take some time on that. Bring in the other steadily moving parts if you're confident without um, fingertip touch to external support, take all four limbs moving freely or just have a, have a wander around your RER. Or park up legs a bit wider, establish a wider base and then spend some extra time on slower, bigger moves through the top end. And as you can see, as I ease my elbows backwards, I get a little bit of trunk turnage as well and then and then take the time to come back to base and off you go again just mix that up folks that's your standing prompts here's your seated prompts <clears throat> depends where you would like to be in your, in your sit position the buttocks might be right in full back rest or if you have um, plans to stand at some point today get the hip walk crowbar in easing your buttocks forward just past centre of the chair will make it easier to stand. Bringing the, feels, the feet back a little bit will make it easier to stand. We're not going to stand right now, but we have created the best possible angles and situation for extra feet, ankles and toes. So toe creases on the go. Keep the uplift, folks, and then working through the arm march. The arm march, you're going to get so much more range of motion, so much more control from this with this bent elbow position. Then you, you're really leading with the elbow on the way back. Relaxed hands at the front end. Uh, do make sure that you, you're kind of going forwards to back and not umpa par in. Uh, I haven't forgot, Carol Kent, that we are going to have one umpa par day a month. I'm, I'm going to surprise you with that. I don't know when it's going to be yet. And you might want to pick all that up together, look, to bring in the other bits and bobs, or you might want to remain one hand as a support. You might just want to mix, mix all of that up, do a bit of everything. <clears throat> and having done that for a few minutes, you're already going to start to feel that light lift in the heart rate. And with that will be, will be the, will come the deeper breath. So all steadily, we just waking the body up actually giving it time to adjust quite a lot happens with our physiology when we go from a resting state to a moving state so we want to do that gradually for for best results do that gradually we don't want to go from 0 to 60 
in a couple of seconds because none of us will feel very well if we try to do that. Um, not suggesting that we all, you know, get to 60 miles an hour, but you know what I'm saying. Ready, steady, <clears throat> moving parts, part one, the first trio, ankle bottom end here, knees a bit bent, feeling strong, steady and stable before you put in the moving part. First moving part is the shoulders, up and down. Do focus on the down as well, take your time. If you know you want a bit of fingertip touch <clears throat> to help, let that could glide up and down the wall like so, and as when you're ready, bring in the bigger circular movements. You might be in sit. <clears throat> you, might, uh, you might actually feel that you want to change position from sit to stand, depending on the movement. So all of that is in the mix as well. Three of uh, sorry, three or four, <clears throat> four or five good ones, as big a range, big as comfortable range as you can. Uh, this lifts and opens the posture. Gets the shoulders, um, and remember the shoulder blades uh, shift and move around the back of the ribs there. So all of these this, these types of movements are going to be needed today. Today, yes they are. Push, pull, reach, grab, carry, all need <clears throat> this movable stuff. Second movement uh, of uh, the, the first trio. Uh, head turns, fingertip touch to your chin, folks. Check that uh, you've got, still got your uplift. Aiming here to keep the, the trunk still as you take your steady turn and a return. Pause in the middle. All the reasons we've said many times before. Your vestibular system is in between your ears, amongst other things. Any head movement uh, has potential to challenge the balance. So the, the vestibular system is a really big input into our into our balance, our balance ability, into our balance mechanisms. There you go. Take a pause, any number of fidgets. If you want a, a, um, a rest or a slump and then set it up again, just at a few, a few extras. Other prompts might be a, a flat hand under the chin and that gives you another indicator that you're really specifically working on that that glide from left to right, avoiding the lift or the dip. That's not to say you shouldn't lift or dip. The head moves in multiple directions. Uh, we're just being really specific about what we want from this movement snack. Move. Third movement of the, the first trio, here it is. <clears throat> the double chin win-win. Easy, it's kind of like you're going, whoa. That's, that's what my head says. That's, that's the voice in my head when I do that one, like, whoa, like that. As if you're easing and squeezing your head back into a pillow or a cushion. Again, uh, another prompt could be the, the flat hand here. And that will make, um, give you an extra cue to feel whether you're lifting or, or dipping the chin. And we just, it's like a glide, like a squeeze back. And that, whoa, move, <clears throat> is all part and parcel of a more upright, balanced, supported posture. Where the head goes, the body follows. So if our head goes down to work at a workstation, at a desk, in a garage, at a laptop, then the rest, the rest of the spine is going to follow. Hence the uplift, hence the, whoa, move at the top end. <clears throat> Second round of circuit boost, here we go. Pick it up where you left it off. <clears throat> it doesn't go anywhere in context of um, complexity. Uh, just mix up, mix up the size and the range, maybe top end on its own, bottom end on its own. You might want to start to explore some other directional changes around the hips. So take some extra extenders uh, every now and then. <clears throat> but for this cert boost to do the primary job, it needs to be steady and continuous. So that we just kind of just just tri trickle along, trickle along, tickety boo, keeping the heart rate steadily, steadily, uh, raise that light intensity, mix it up, all those moves together, and hopefully you'll start to feel that you, you can move more freely, that perhaps when you initially start the cert boost, that deep breath comes on quite quickly, but actually, after a while, once, once your physiology has sorted itself out and switched from rest mode to active mode, <clears throat> things start to become more efficient. All your innards and your organs start to move more efficiently. So hopefully you just feel you could just 
tick along with this light intensity <clears throat> without concern and without being breathless. So if you do feel breathless, make the movement, movement smaller, remove a moving part, or take the cert boost in sit. Start to feel how you can control the intensity of your heart rate and your breathing. Okay, second, uh, part two of this movement snack is all about the trunk hitch. Here's your standing prompts, wider stance, uh, make a note of that, because we're gonna take a, a trunk movement. And the, uh, the side bend is gonna shift us away from our base of support, so we need a bit more wideage in the support there. I'm gonna bend towards the support first to see how I feel. I've got support either side of me, so I can do the same here. If you are, um, if you don't have something either side of you, you might prefer to either have face on there, keep contact with the, with the outside world. So just a, a bit of fingertip touch can give the brain lots of information about, about where your body is in space and feeling confident to, to bend more freely, bend with confidence. Check here that the hips aren't moving. I'm just gliding and sliding my fingertips down the seams of my baggy pants here. Back to base each time, pause in the middle. Remember what I said about the vestibular system. So that's why we have a pause up in the middle. And you might want to step out, have a, have a rest, have a, have a fidget, and then continue. Four or five good ones in each direction. And over time, feel that you can go a little bit further down and return. So it's always on the move, that side bend. <clears throat> Here's your sit options. Base of support is different because we're sat on buttocks. Feet may or may not be involved. If they are, plant them and anchor them as well. The uplift before the side bend is significant. Back to base. And you might want <clears throat> a little bit of slump in the middle there to go again. So the rests are as important as the bends. Take the arms out of the equation just so you can feel that the trunk is doing the moving. And then over time, you can bring in that long arm reach as well. Or, or <clears throat> have the hand on the arm of the chair and that can give you some extra assist perhaps to come back. So coming back to upright position um, is um, possibly going to feel more challenging because you're coming back up through gravity. So gravity helps you on the way down but you have to work through it on the way up. Pause as many times as you need. Quality range of motion here. We need bending and turning in all of our activities of daily living. On the subject of turning, that is the next move. So establish your buttocks and your foot base again if it's involved, and there is the trunk turn. Uh, I'm deliberately taking my arms out of the equation so you can hopefully see and feel that it's, it really is about, it, it's your spine that's turning here, taking a controlled, slow twist. No sudden movements here, folks. You might want to walk the hands around as well as you want, because if you're going to turn and twist in daily life, the chances are it's because you want your hands to get somewhere. And on top of that, you might have a little bit of an extra head turn as well. But do start. I invite you to explore just your trunk turn initially, and then build in those other bits if you like. Take the rests for this one. It can feel quite effortful, to have a more upright posture and then take this graded turn. And probably in daily life, we don't really think about that. So we probably turn while on a slump. So just being active and upright can, can greatly increase the effort of that. That's why I'm saying use the rests. Here's your stand prompts, wider feet as always. With the support in front of you, that can kind of assist with the direction of that turn. So if you're squeezing things, it's across. Aiming to keep the hips still. Walls are another great one for this, so you, you can kind of really assist to, with a slide across. And if the arm is sliding across, you're going to give you get an extra shoulder movement as well. Generally speaking, uh, we, we say try to keep the hips still purely so that you can start to get more movement through the trunk. Just, just this. If they do move a bit, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not against the rules. Uh, just do make do make sure that you've, you've you've made the most of your trunk turn. 
third movement of the trunk trio is the back extension and we've already done quite a lot of uplift and extending so this back extension just goes a little bit further here's your standing option you might want to put your hands on your buttocks you might want to keep your hand on the wall or a piece of furniture just to check that you're not swaying backwards the movement is here and return you might want to put your hand just here place this on your chest and then just ease up it's almost as if you're you're pressing pressing up into that hand can you see the movement is all happening middle and upwards it's definitely not bringing in a backwards sway so extra scrunch on the toes if you're doing this in sand and no movement through the hips you also might want to bring in a, a forward and upward reach <clears throat> that's just one application of, of this type of movement in daily life maybe hanging out and washing getting up to high shelves but also lying positions need, need lots of wiggle and extend in sit it's the same sideways view so you can see anchor the buttocks anchor the feet baby start in a slump and ease relaxed uh, posture position then come up to your uplift and then just explore the extra bit at the top end you might want to put in a few uh, shoulder rolls just to check that the chest is open for this and then take a squeeze hand positions could be on thighs and that might help just to kind of ease you up or hands might also be comfortable in your back pockets to press forwards or no arms at all no hands at all and it might feel quite small that range of motion and it might be that just coming into an upright uplifted posture is your back extension at the minute and all of that is okay it's all on a spectrum and grade of individuality and, and how you're moving uh, over time third round of circ boost so pick it up where it left off are you in sit are you in stand last flurry of circ boost <clears throat> in the movement snap at least uh, if you are inactive or you've been uh, in the same position for, for you know more than an hour or so do crowbar in a bit of circ boost and a bit of uplift your body and your mind will thank you for it so here's your last flurry i'm going to push up to stand just to do the last bit with the stand wrappers and we're into part three the last trio of moves for the morning get go is the ankles feet and toes if you are in stand you might want to use some support to remove the balance challenge just so you can focus on uh, foot mobility extra toe action and ankle moves so these are really deliberate and strong heel raises and i'm trying to increase the movement around my toe hinges there so that's my foot mobility here's my ankle mobility foot is directly under the hip there trying to get the the toe where the heel is that's my ankle mobility but in my feet as well in between here i've got toe scrunches going on also so <clears throat> three elements really the ankles the feet and the toes uh, and we need all of these in standing and walking activities this support here is to remove balance challenge but 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 if you don't need it don't use it uh, and any number of extra steps or step outs or fidgets or you might want to crowbar and a bit of freestyling in between before you take up those again uh, note here that my, my, my legs my knees are under my hips and my ankles are, are under my knees so I'm not out there and I'm not forwards and I'm not back so it's straight lines here folks and then then bring that into your deliberate strides to bring that all together stand droppers have a play around with all of those sit 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 down or is you might want to be buttocks back in the chair right the way back this is where you're going to get full support <clears throat> from the chair seat keep the foot low there's the ankles now in this seated option you can bring in your toe scrunches on this one so in your in your socks and in your shoes extra toe scrunch going on so we've got the ankles the feet and the toes be specific about the press forward and pull back if you're working towards standing activities the more specific we can be here the better you might want to have a hip walk forward <clears throat> and rehearse those foot placements there as you can see as i press through the heel i've got some hip hinge and some weight shift here extra buttocks on this one folks 
So I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not bending the spine. I'm hinging forward. So if you turn sideways here, so I'm still straight and lifted through the back there, and that extra bit will give me more, uh, more press downage through the heels. Heels back and down for some extra toe hinges there, or you might want to try the, the heel toe option that we did in stand. This isn't always comfortable around your hips, depends how long your legs are. So we need to get a bit of um, <clears throat> a bit of thigh lift to make room to point the toe. So if you haven't got liftability, <clears throat> go for the first one I showed you, which is that. And that, folks, concludes the ATM, the first of triple today for me on the movement snacks. You might want to crowbar in some extra extras if you like to, just, just to get yourself as best ready as you can for your day. And I will see you in four hours at noon. Uh, uh, more headlines coming from Sue in Dartmoor. Uh, uh, thank you, what are you telling me, Margaret? Ready to go walking around Liberty's Owl. Raptor, a raptor. Oh, nice. D dinosaurs, I do like a dino. Uh, uh, morning, Karen, I can see you're in as well. Uh, Lunch time here with friends. Oh, nice. Chicago, Chicago. Is it that one, Jane? I think I better go and I. Yeah. Uh, see you in four hours. Bye for now. All right, Rosalie. All right, Jersey. Uh, see you later. Bye.